now there's a child like there's a child within me yeah that's also like isn't that kind of creepy yeah <laughs> it's been dry in these what? streets what? now <laughs> sorry 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 i'm bringing story time energy here no, that's and not... i need to yeah okay perfect Hi everyone. everyone, I'm Simbi. I'm Olamide. And welcome back to our channel. Today we're talking about sex. sex. <laughs> during pregnancy. Sex during pregnancy and what really... What is it about? What's happening? What is it actually a thing? Hey! Is it actually happening? Hey! Two weeks, no sex. What is that? What is that? Just wait for postpartum. <laughs> <laughs> I shout in two weeks, no sex. Be shouting there. Mm -hmm. Six weeks go catch you. No blame me now, nah, me and you. <laughs> Yo, I mean, anyway. To be fair, anyway, we'll anyway. we'll talk about that one later. As soon as we found out that mm. I was pregnant or yeah. we were pregnant, I actually got very scared because watch our previous video on the story time about bleeding. Yeah. In short, some bleeding had happened. Yeah. And that made me very... Even before we found out even, I was pregnant. Do you yeah, remember that? Yeah, I remember that. There was some bleeding... TMI. Well, you clicked on a video talking about intimacy, so... You're you going to get <laughs> Here it. Here you go, all yeah. right? If, mm -hmm. it's, if, if it's making you cringe, stay. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say go, but... Because you're going to need it. Right. Mm -hmm. So anyways, I got scared. Mm -hmm. And I'm basically like... I, I'm... <laughs> Don't look for me. <laughs> don't. Don't find me. Uh, hello. <laughs> and to be honest, I felt uncomfortable. So I was out here, y'all. I felt uncomfortable because <laughs> I don't know if anyone has ever thought of this, but it's like now there's a child, like there's a child within me. Yeah, that's also like. Isn't that kind of creepy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's literally like a child, like our child is. It's like what is going on? It's a lot of apologies to our son if he watches this in the future. But <laughs> a lot of like mental stuff. It's like yeah. there's the bleeding. There's like there's a whole child in there. It's yeah. like it was just a lot. What are we doing? Yeah, like yeah. what do we do with this? Yeah, and I'm not interested. So Sha, I was running. <laughs> I didn't tell him I was even running. And I was pursuing like this. Were you really? <laughs> Why are you running? Why are you running? I was. Well, I was being patient. You about were it. being patient. I was you being patient. Being and I think that's something that I think for men is very important to know. When your wife gets pregnant, you like you might have to have a moment of patience. Not saying that it's good to happen to everybody, but I'm sure this is probably hmm. you know a common experience. See, I think it's actually preparation for postpartum because there's a period after. Why would they practice? Delivery. Why would they practice when the real, we, we don't need to practice? We've already practiced. We've practiced when we were before, dating. Yeah, we <laughs> practiced. Going back to what I was saying, I think men, a husband is very, it's very important to understand. Like you're not the one carrying the baby. You're not the one that maybe bled or is going through all the experiences, the changes, the tiredness, and all of those things. So it, you know, we have to really give grace and just be patient yeah. and and help. Our wives walk through that process and not be all about ourselves because yeah. that's how to ruin sex one on one when sex is all about you. Yes, because biblical godly sex is about e like it's about each other. Yeah, like I mean, marriage outdoing each other in love and yeah. service. So thinking about the other person as well. Yeah. So just as much as you had to think about me, I also had to start thinking about you yeah. more. And yeah. like, even though there was discomfort, how can I lean into this? Yeah. I think we've quickly discovered yeah. intimacy is not equal to sex. Yeah. Sex is... A form of intimacy, but it's not one-to-one. -one. Yeah, it's not... Sex is not all that intimacy is. Yes, it's, a, it's like a piece of it. So what did we do? Like, what other forms of intimacy did we explore we, we came back to the sex right? just <laughs> we'll, you know. we'll go back there yes but before before that we you know i think we just tried to figure out other ways like especially like you know and this is where like understanding each other's love language comes into play mm -hmm. for simbi you know is quality time yeah. you know and and the, the trick actually is you know 
going through other forms of intimacy will get you back to that sex that you're looking for. That's that's a free. Here is a good point. That's a free um, gem. <laughs> free. That's free game for the free men. Free game for the men. So it's like we're not sort trying to find other ways. To like okay, yeah. Really pour into other forms of intimacy. So like for us, like I know Simbi loves to have conversations, deep conversations about random things and well, not random about things, life but and like destiny. Life and so <laughs> literally. Thing. So it's like, okay, let's start talking. We'll talk tire. Mm-hmm. We'll talk tire until next you know, say, yeah, I love you. Uh, I love you. And before you know it, <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's what, that's what, that's what we did. And then I think there's also the praying part. Also praying, ah, God, please do. Because, I mean, you also have to remember, like, God created sex, right? Yeah. Like, he, he created it for procreation, but for also for our pleasure. So as it's married like, people. As married people. So it's like, we can't keep going like this. Yeah. Like, it's been two weeks. Like, what? <laughs> like, we're not doing practice round for any postpartum. <laughs> so it's like, what, what's happening here? You know? So it's like, <sighs> you know, pointing to other forms of intimacy, but also praying about it. Like, God, help. Simbi's mindset help my mindset, you know, heal whatever you know pain or discomfort that she might be feeling in her body. Um, so you prayed? I prayed, oh. Okay. Ha. <laughs> you know those kind of prayer. I, I just keep it to myself. <laughs> I think it's also important that both parties talk about it. Yeah. I think it's very important. <laughs> like, don't just. Uh, yeah. Don't just act like, oh, nothing's happening. What kind of marriage is Like, that? actually, I have a conversation. Like, you know, this thing that I know that we were supposed to be yeah. doing, I know it has not happened for, like, three weeks. You know? Yeah. Well, it should not get to three weeks mark, but it's like, I know it has not happened for, like, a week or a week and a half, you know? And like, this is what... Like, this is, about this it, is what's happening. This is why, you know, in just that way, like, you know, you can invite your husband in to support you, right? Because... If you're trying to walk through it by yourself and you're not communicating with your husband, you can just feel like, oh, what's like what's happening? Yeah. But inviting him in to to have these conversations and to, you know, just talk through it, I think yeah. it's very key. Man, it's actually so interesting how pregnancy changes things. Because before pregnancy, I feel like I was the one. You were the one. <laughs> I was literally the one, you were the one that would be chasing you. Yeah. Now we are experiencing the chase. Huh? Like, that's actually quite mad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, just to recap everything that we said, right? For for when it comes to sex in, in pre- during pregnancy, for the men, it's very, very key that you extend grace to your wife, that you are patient, and you find other ways to woo your woman. You know, do the tricks, all the things that you used to do. You know, do them. That way, it will get her to the points that you want her to get to. Okay. And then... Um, that sounds give... very... Um, I don't know what the word is. There's uh, an end goal in mind. Uh, but it's a reasonable no, goal because like, it's fair. It's, like, it's fair now. You're married and you... Yeah, so it's anyway. fair. But, you know, you're not just doing those things just because... Yeah, like, so you ain't going to talk to me if you don't want to have sex? No, now. That should <laughs> not be your... Like, you should be talking to the person on a regular basis. The person. <laughs> your wife on a regular <laughs> basis. But... The idea is, you know, if you are struggling in that end, maybe pour more into this yeah, place. Yeah, you know, I also think just the point to fill your cup in other areas, what, like there yeah. will be seasons yeah. where sex specifically is not at the forefront, and that's yeah. fine. Yeah. So fill, fill the cup in other ways, yeah. not just with the mindset of, I'm trying to fill yeah. this so that we can, you yeah. know? Right. Like maybe that's not the form of intimacy that, like, and that's real, yeah. you know? Like, yeah. take a break, yo. Relax. You got your whole life. <laughs> like, chill out. <laughs> give, the, give the women... Yes, to the ladies. Um, I know it's weird. <laughs> I feel you. Stand your ground. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, give yourself grace. Yeah, very Because it's it's frustrating it feels weird it's just all this stuff so give yourself grace yeah and trust god surrender it to god and let him help you yeah through it all because it's it's different especially for your first 
child. Yeah. I mean, like after the first child, I'm sure you feel like you f- f- mm-hmm. figure things out yeah. as we've been able to do. Yeah. Um, and some ladies, some people don't even have this problem. It's yeah, like, I mean, some people some don't. people don't even think like this. Yeah. So we hope that gives you some insight to what our experience with intimacy during pregnancy has been i guess we've said intimacy but we've primarily spoken about sex i mean and we also said that things. sex is not equal to so sha sha sex in pregnancy yeah. let's be clear so thank you all for watching we hope that your sex life will be fruitful <laughs> and it will multiply we'll see the results we'll see the results <laughs> now but this isn't even about that this is about we pray that you continue to fill your cup of intimacy yes. even through pregnancy when it can be a different type of vibe. Yeah. Yeah. So. And just throughout your, your marriage. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, guys. Peace.